What is going on? Welcome to this independent essay body structure webinar. I am so grateful to be bringing this to you. And to be honest with you, there have been a lot of revelations that have happened over the past, I don't know, days, weeks, maybe even months. And I told myself, how can I maximize not only my time, but to help my students on a consistent basis so that they could train themselves and give them something that they can do so that I don't have to waste so much time doing the same thing over and over. Well, this is exactly that. See, I've talked about the bodies, or I would say the introductions in terms of the thesis, the support in detail, uh, the internal preview along with the conclusion, just as I'm going to explain in this question right here, as well as probably nine others, I believe. Uh, but it's the body structure. I was first challenged by a group of three and they said, our steel, I do not know the structure to each of the essay topics. Can you help me? A day before that, I had another student who said, can you tell me I do not know the structure and how to apply it to every single essay? And then it was just a number of people who were telling me day after day after day. And I said, you know what? Let me uh, try to figure out and write a template out for everyone. But not only that, do a webinar for everyone out there and to walk you through that process in terms of developing your body. Uh, what is it? The body structure. And so I got a variety of different questions right here that I'm going to be uncovering and unveiling. And I'm going to walk you through how you could go about putting it together in terms of an outline. Remember, this isn't the outline. This isn't, I'm sorry, this is the outline. This isn't me writing everything and putting it all together. Although I believe with my outline, maybe as homework, you could comment in the webinar in the comment section and say, okay, well, based on what you had written down, this is what I've written. And so with that being said, are you gonna be able to write this down, this outline in terms of your essay with all the time or the little amount of time that you have? No, but you're preparing yourself mentally and you know exactly through habit and developing the habit, which takes about one week upwards to three weeks to stick in terms of doing it over and over and over. It's kind of like a habit of brushing your teeth and taking a shower and going to work and taking the same route every day and eating the food and, you know, trying to, you know, ditch away, you know, some of the bad foods that you always eat. It's a habit that you need to develop. And this is exactly what we are going to be diving into in this webinar is the habit and the different types of questions and the outline for each of the paragraphs and how to approach the outline. Now, I think the biggest key factors that I've started doing over the probably the past two weeks is mentioning the negative first, the contrast and idea, and then you mentioning your idea, okay? And that's exactly what we're going to be covering here in each of the questions, all right? And I've already written out the paragraph too. So with that being said, we're gonna dive into the outline of each of my internal preview ideas, which you're gonna see in the introduction. And then you're gonna see exactly how you can lay it out based on the questions that I have here. So with that being said, I've already written out the introductory paragraphs. You're going to have this document obviously on your, uh, what is it, in the webinar. So if you've purchased the webinar and whatnot, thank you so much. You're going to have this specific document and everything there. If you would like to comment and, you know, send your paragraphs to me so I can have a look over, obviously, in the comment section, I'll be more than happy to check them. All right. And with that being said, let's dive right in. So just recently, I received a question from an amazing, uh, an amazing student of mine from her friend who recently had taken the TOEFL, uh, what is it, the TOEFL test. And this is the question that she got. So if we see this, it says many companies provide important products or services, but also damage the environment. Some people believe that the best way to stop companies from harming the environment is to require them to pay a penalty, such as a higher tax or a large fine when they cause environmental damage. But other people think that there are better ways to stop the companies from harming the environment. Which view do you agree with and why? Now, this is the type of essay that you are going to, first thing first, if you haven't taken any of my classes and stuff like that, I always preach and say, what is the easiest thing for you to write now? 
first, I've always, the first thing that came to mind was, well, you could tax these companies such as Exxon Mobile, you know, or tell them to pay a fine. But who is that money actually going to? It's going to the pockets of people who actually sued them. So are they really going to help with helping with the environment? No, it's just a way for that specific, the plaintiff to make money off other people's mistakes. But with that plaintiff and all the money that they have to invest in that lawyer, is it really doing anything? Absolutely not. Apple is paid fines. It does nothing. It does nothing.